and welcome to your Sunday dream sequence. And in breaking news, what's going on with Maxine, ex actors now? Stay tuned, we've got all the details coming right up. Chloe is a triple threat and has been performing since she was five. She's mum to three little doggies and thinks she's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And she can't ride a bike. Can you write 15 pages of outstanding script? Of course you can. Well, if you can't, that's beside the point anyway. The Writer Store wants to see it for their script writing competition. Prizes include mentorship and feedback to take your full script to the next level. Details are in the links below. Have all you Perth professional actors saved up your hard-earned cash? Excellent, because there's another acting coach, The Stars, coming to town, determined to keep your acting game strong. Elizabeth Kemp arrives soon. Just Google her, people. I caught up with Craig Williams, the muso from the play The Boat Goes Over the Mountain, starring Andrew Hale. It's showing this week at the Subiaco Arts Centre. Hi guys, I'm here with Craig Williams, the musician from the new play The Boat Goes Over the Mountain that's going to be premiering at the Independent Theatre Festival here in Subiaco. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Craig. Thank you, no problem. Fantastic. So tell us a bit about The Boat Goes Over the Mountain. It's, it's a true story. It's mm. Andrew actually lived the story. He's telling his own true story. He's not just an actor performing the part. He's, uh, he's uh, uh, took this amazing journey into the jungles of uh, South America and um, and then he knew at the time that he wanted to write a play about it, so, uh, so that's, that's the journey that he goes on. So you're the musician on stage. How does music play a role in uh, the story unfolding? We've, we've got a beautiful uh, uh, set uh, design which kind of evokes a boat, evokes a jungle. It's mainly just um, wooden slats. Mm -hmm. So right at the start I'm, I'm hitting them as percussion. I, I can, oh, okay. I can yeah, I'd be playing live percussion on, on those and then we tip it up and it sort of becomes a set that we can climb around. So it's quite versatile. You're using it as a as an instrument and as the set itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then that evokes the sort of jungle kind of uh, nature yeah. of, the, of the story. I've also got um, music tracks that I've written uh, that are pre-recorded and mm -hmm. I'm playing, uh, playing live percussion and uh, guitar and a bit of, bit of everything. Fantastic. Well, it sounds great. Uh, when does it open? Oh, now you've got me because <laughs> I don't have it in front of me. Um, we're, the, we're the last uh, uh, You're the production last one in, in the, the series. So yep. I think it's, um, it's the last week of uh, June, first week of July, somewhere Fantastic. in there. But it's the we'll Wednesday through to Saturday on those dates. Great. Yeah. We'll get the dates and we'll put it up on the screen <laughs> for you. So, um, coming up so soon. Much. Yeah. <laughs> thanks so much for coming on the show. And it sounds like a really intriguing show. I can't wait to see it. And um, we've got a few tickets to give away to... Uh, our viewers as well. That'd be so great. We're, we're we'll very proud of it and it's, uh, it's been received really well. So yeah. I hope you come to see it. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks. Cheers. Hi everyone, I am here at the Subiaco Arts Centre with the team behind the play How We Ruined MacArthur's Markers. It's going to be showing at the Independent Theatre Festival. Hey guys, thanks for coming along. Good morning. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> um, so, so tell us about the show. The show is about family. It's a family show and it, it raises ideas of uh, the importance of family, different kinds of family relationships. Uh, you know, are they important? Are they worth preserving? Can new ones be forged? The main plot of the story is all about these two brothers who have never met mm. um, and who end up working together. But it's a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm laughing already. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Nothing funnier than families falling apart. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was a dark comedy. Yeah, it really definitely. is just it's straight up, like, kind oh, of okay. ridiculous. Very light, very light. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, there, there are definitely sort of moments in there that'll make people kind of, like, pause and think again yeah. about... Um, yeah. And of course, it's, it's all highlighted nicely with uh, with music as well. Yeah. Um, and I think that the tone is certainly driven home by by the score and the musical direction. Yeah, so, so talking about the music, what kind of style is it? Uh, it's it's a jazzy sort of um, musical theatre cross, I guess. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've, it's, it's, I've got quite a small band and it's just a, like, a, like a little jazz combo. When, when is the show uh, playing here at the Subiaco Theatre? Yeah, so uh, it's in the studio here at the Subiaco Arts Centre from the 24th to the 27th of June. Uh, tickets are available through Ticketek like the rest of the independent theatre festival shows. Excellent, and you can actually get um, a pack of three tickets 
that you can use for any show. So yes. oh. take advantage. Thank That's you for the Theatre Trust. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, it sounds really awesome, guys. And thanks so much for coming on this show. I can't wait to actually see. Yeah. Thanks very we, much for having us. We can't <laughs> wait to show it to everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So we'll, we'll um, put a link up and get some people buying some tickets. Great. Great. Thank cool. you very much. Please buy tickets. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Classic mm. bag. <laughs> mm. If you haven't seen it, Last Train to Frio is showing at Revelations. This is a classic feature and a must-see for any aspiring filmmaker. Go to it. It's showing on the 30th of June. <laughs> um, not a classic, but one for Jeff, our editor. The Rosemount presents Nerdlesque, where burlesque meets gaming. I guess that's Dungeons and Dragons and Busty Babes. Ew. Anyway, if you want to check it out, it's on June 26th. So, what's the Gossam Act scene? Well, after many years with Actors Now, she's left to pursue a new opportunity with Actors Management International, headed up by Ali Roberts. I think they're going to make the strongest team here in Perth and definitely an asset for Perth talent. Definitely. Uh, interesting times ahead for sure and we wish them all the best. Well, that's it from me. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and throw a few coins towards our Indiegogo campaign. See you next week. All right, I'm out of here. And if you want to check out Beck's interview techniques or how I got this gig, keep watching after the credits. And please don't forget to donate to our crowdfunding campaign. Good night. Chloe, I've just got a couple of standard questions. I've just been asking everyone, so yeah, sure. Give me a few seconds. Um, where did you grow up? Um, here in Perth. Cool. And how long have you been in acting and presenting? Uh, acting since I was about five, and presenting the last couple of years. Cool. What do your parents think of that? Yeah, no, they're really supportive. Nice. So will they donate to the show? Um, I guess I can probably ask them. Yeah. Cool. Boxes, briefs, or bikinis? Um, none of them. It's not really my thing. I don't know. Is that your real hair? Yeah, this is my real hair. Oh, yeah. fancy. Chloe, have you ever killed a man? <laughs> no, I haven't killed anyone. Would you? Um, not right now, just... Oh, or well, if you meant like saving the world? Yeah. Put you down as a maybe. Okay. What's your favourite colour and why is it purple? Um, yeah, purple. Purple's good. I like purple. Not what I would have said, but uh, yeah. How much popcorn have you eaten today? Um, a lot. All right, good answer. Okay. You're a bit of a weird one, but welcome aboard. Cool, thanks. <laughs>